Chatelet brothers, this is some land I found a few months ago, and I spoke about it briefly on a live stream with Charles F. Gray, and I've mentioned it briefly in a couple of other videos, but this is it. This is the video in itself today. This is the property, 34 acres for 15,600 Canadian dollars, which is roughly 10 or 11,000 American dollars, and uh, yeah, so on and so forth. So I'm going to read what it says. 34 acres close to Larder Lake, Ontario. $20,000 CDNA wonderful hunting property. A quiet place that feels like you're in the middle of nowhere yet close enough to town for supplies. A very neat property of 34.08 acres located in McVitie Township, which is northeast of a small town of Larder Lake in northeastern Ontario. The township is within the boundary of the town of Larder Lake, so it is an organized township. Surface rights come with this property. The property is forested with lots of mature trees that are in range of 50 to 60 years old. The trees are reserved to the crown, but you are allowed to use some of them for personal uses, for instance for firewood. Trees found on the property are mostly spruce trees and poplar trees. Mineral rights do not come with the property. This is not flat land, as you can see by the contour map. There is a slope of about 30 meters or about 98 feet from the south of the property to the north end of the property in a distance of about 2,000 feet. Uh, search... Yeah, I fucked up, but anyway, I read too slow. This is not a drive-to property. Access to the property is by ATV or Argo. The owner has developed a new ATV trail in the property and has cleared out a site to build a cabin on. Check out the trail map. On the south, an electrical power transmission line crosses Highway 66. You would park your vehicle off the highway and take your ATV or Argo down to the power line for about 360 meters to the start of the trail, and then take the trail to get a cleared area in the property. Larder Lake area has abundant wildlife such as moose and black bear, plentiful fish that include lake trout, walleye, pickerel and smallmouth bass, and endless boreal forest with hidden trails, streams and rivers. The town of Larder Lake is approximately 15 kilometers from the Quebec border located in WMU 28. How far is Larder Lake, Ontario? Uh, 600 kilometers from Toronto or like whatever, 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 Hamilton, Windsor. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, is this the property of all properties? No, but it's a damn good deal. Now, these pictures are shit because these are the pictures that were up there with the ad, but I wanted to show you what there was. So, this is one of them. This one I like too. Check the fucking strap over the pile of firewood. I believe that looks like birch. Uh, those logs, anyway. And see, as you can see, it's really dense, and the owner even cleared a fucking place for you to build a cabin if you want. Or you can clear your own fucking place. But this is an organized municipality, which means there are going to be a few more rules and regulations, slightly higher property tax, but just to give you guys an idea, property tax for this place is about uh, $200 a year. And water is not on the land, which is the only thing that's fucking missing, but... You can even get DSL there, or cable, or whatever, and electricity uh, goes through there as well. But none of that shit matters. All you need is a fucking space that you fucking buy, and this place isn't even too far away. Like, I live in Quebec, but I'm going to probably have to move to Ontario, because over there you can do a lot more with Crown Land. But, yeah, I just wanted to let you know, you guys can do this. If you're frustrated, and if you want to fucking get away, or even if you're not frustrated, if you just want to get away, you should look for land. Look for land, uh, look for forested land if that's your fucking thing. Because that's our fucking thing, that's what we're going to do. And I just wanted to, again, just show you guys an example of what you can find if you do a little bit of digging. And it's not that hard. Now, getting the money is going to be a different fucking story, but again, that that's not going to be that hard either. So it just depends on working smart and working hard. And, you know, but you can do it. I encourage you to do it and become you know, fully, fully, fully independent as much as you can. Otherwise, you're a slave. And, you know, no one wants to live that way. So I'm going to upload another video later. But in the meantime, I wanted to make this one quickly. And I was going to sprinkle this in another video, but like I said, you know, I really wanted the point to hit home that you can do this. So leave a thought in the comments downstairs. Please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, you're watching Bridge Burners TV, Chatelet.